Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. Let's paint a beautiful seascape today. I'll be painting on an A4 sized canvas pad. It contains unstretched canvas sheets and I'll be using various sizes of brushes. All the details will be mentioned on the description box below. I was planning to work on watercolor paper and at the last moment I realized that I forgot to gesso the paper. So I thought of painting on this canvas since it was already mentioned that it was primed. Now I am giving the borders by using a tape which I can easily remove after the painting. These discarded plastics are always my favorite palette since it can be reused n number of times. Now I am going to start the painting. I am dividing the canvas and will be working as three different portions. To give the base layer of the beach sand portion I am mixing yellow ochre and white. With the size 20 flat brush, I am giving ultramarine blue as a base coat for the sky portion. Try to wet the brush if it is too dry to give flat strokes, but do not overload with water. As I am moving downwards towards the horizon, I am slightly mixing it with white. These smooth strokes helps to blend the paint really well. Now that my base layer of the sky portion is finished, I am cleaning the brush thoroughly and starting to work with turquoise blue for the sea portion. Just as we did for the sky, I am giving horizontal strokes and as and when I am going downwards, I am slightly mixing with white and I am blending it smoothly by adding little more water as I approach the sand portion. Now the first layer of all the three portions is finished, I am going to start working on the sky. I will be working on layers with ultramarine blue and white. And here I am using an oval brush. Smooth circular motion with the brush uh, will help to create a beautiful cloud texture on the canvas. You can always work on various levels and various shades of blues and whites. Work like this on various levels until you are happy with the appearance of the sky. I am adding bit more white to the horizon line to make it slightly lighter. Feel like adding a bit more details to the sky. And once that is finished, I am moving on to the portion of the sand. As earlier, I am mixing yellow ochre and white and I am slightly dabbing the paint onto the canvas. Since my brush is really wet, it will create a unique texture while dabbing it on the canvas.
I'm now mixing deep green with turquoise blue to get a darker shade of the blue for the ocean. Towards the horizon line the sky will appear lighter and the ocean will appear darker. With a size 6 round brush and titanium white, I am giving an outline of a sea wave. And now with the same brush, I am just dabbing the paint throughout the outline of the wave. I am doing the same thing towards the end of the other wave near the beach sand. To add a bit more details or depth to the sea wave, I am adding a reflection or a shadow of the sea wave using burnt sienna mixed with titanium white. Now I am starting to work more on the sea waves. With some rough upward strokes using the oval brush, I am adding a bit more texture and details to the sea waves. This will create a beautiful visual effect of a sea wave splash. Defining the end of the sea wave after working on every layer. To add the darker portion under each wave top, I am adding a slightly lighter version of turquoise blue. Working on various layers will add beautiful texture and unique feel to the painting. So even if you don't like a portion of the painting, don't hesitate to work over it. Add more details and texture in the painting as you go further with layers until you are happy with the outcome. But make sure not to overdo with any of these. To add a few more details, I am mixing white and turquoise blue with a lighter tone and giving few random strokes. These curvy lines will add a beautiful reflection of the water.
to add a bit more interest near the waves portion i am giving another coat of deep green and turquoise blue And now I feel that this painting is completed. Thanks for watching this video and I really hope that you all enjoyed watching this video. Hope I was able to take you through each step of painting this ocean wave. Do let me know in the comments below. I really look forward to hear from each one of you. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned guys. Bye.